Hi friend! Do you want to combine symbols to create a new symbol? Try the Symbol Builder. Here's how it works. First, click on the Symbol Builder link in the gray menu bar. Notice three sections on this page. There are tools for finding the symbols, a design space or canvas, and the symbol information area. On the left, you can search, find common symbols, browse through categories, add text, and see your tray. If I need to show a child picking up laundry, I can search for pick up. Then drag the picture to the canvas. Using the corner, I can grow the symbol to any size. Now I need a laundry basket. Symbols below the canvas let me adjust the symbols. I can click undo. I can bring symbols to the front or to the back. Here I may want the laundry basket to be behind the child. Let's check to see if the right picture is selected with a yellow box around it. And then choose front or back. Here I can use these buttons to rotate, to flip, duplicate, and remove selected symbols. The stretch checkbox is to allow the ratio of the image to change. When unchecked, by default, the selected image will grow and shrink keeping the ratio. If checked, the image will grow and shrink as needed. Now I can go to the common symbols to add symbols such as a knot, big X, or maybe a speech bubble. Give a title to your image. You can also add tags to help your symbol show in your search results. Click Create Symbol and it is now ready to use. You can also combine symbols and uploaded photos. It is easy. You can add the photos to your tray and then drag the photos from the tray to the canvas. Or you can search for the photo's name. Again, I can grab this corner and grow the photo and then add some symbols on top. Here's a trick. Search for stickers to find stickers to place on top of your photos. Click the first folder here and then have fun adding stickers on top of the photo. Here I would like to add a gray background and I will use the stretch box to make it grow and then send it to the back. I can add a speech bubble and some text. Now I can add my title and my keywords. Click Create Symbol and I'm ready to use it in a fun game or visual. If I need the custom symbol later, I can find it under the Your Lesson Picks tab. 
and then scroll down to your photos and custom symbols. It will also show in search results based on the title and the tags that I had set. The custom and or the mind flags do not show up when you create a material. It's that easy and fun to make truly custom materials anytime, anywhere.